So, today we are looking at Skyscrappers from Ground Shatter. So according to their blurb, Skyscrappers is a classic arcade style vertical scrolling competitive platform fighting game. You get to select from a range of extreme sports people to fight and race your way to the top of a falling skyscraper as it's being demolished. So you get up to four players in a classic couch multiplayer. There's a single player campaign or you can set up a skirmish against AI bots. Bullet points, we've got classic arcade feel and style, breathtaking hand drawn art, 60 frames per second action, skill based gameplay, full controller support, 1 to 4 player local multiplayer and a single player arcade mode. So this was released on the Switch on the 29th of October. Uh, it was out on the PS4 and Steam in 2015 so it's taken a while but we finally got it it definitely lives up to the arcade feel that it claims in that blurb and the artwork for me was very reminiscent of past Capcom titles such as Street Fighter Alpha now it's easy to pick up and play I passed the arcade mode with the British character in around half an hour and uh, it feels like there's more depth to find in here when it comes to the skill jumps and the actual combat element whether it's just a computer being cheap or not, I'm not sure, but there were times that I was going to score a hit and it hit me instead of me hitting it. The music, exactly what you'd expect from this sort of madcap combat title. Lots of fast guitars and drums, but not at a volume that it's intrusive. Voice acting, such as there is, is the voice of the announcer with the round one and fight. And then the rest of it is just the grunts and shouts from the characters. There's no actual verbal dialogue from them. Your dialogue comes in the form of little speech sections before each fight. Again, a little reminiscent of the classic Street Fighter. Which has each character talking to the others, because it's not always one-on-one. -on -one. Some more proofreading could have been useful though, as there's one bit where um, the British dude, the guy in blue that I'm playing as, he says, blah 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 blah, me, me. Uh, and it just didn't make sense. The characters and the items that you can hit to fling at your opponents can sometimes be a little bit small, especially as if, like me, you're playing in docked mode, so you're looking at everything on a big screen. I did notice in the settings there's an option to switch the screen to a vertical mode, which would be great when you're on the go and want to see more of the tower, so it's not quite as widescreen. The story if you can call it that, is the same as most standard fighting games. Arcade mode, where you battle each fighter in the game until you beat them all, and then you get a little ending cutscene. Overall, the game's good fun for a quick pick up and play, and I can imagine multiplayer games could get quite heated with friends. Uh, there's no online option here. I've had plenty of fun with this playing on my own, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting a couple of friends in on it. But it was also, I was a little bit disappointed with the lack of any unlockable fighters. You start with four, and that's all you get. Definitely one that I'd put on at small parties though. So if you get a chance to pick this up, give it a look, let me know what you think. But yeah, if you can pick it up cheap, definitely give it a go. Particularly if you're into climbing and fighting. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for tuning in for this little review, and I will see you next time.